Here is the story of modern American comics in one video. This is the graphic novel section. It just ended. This is the manga section. Game over. Credit to Nerdrotic for that opening video where he went into a bookstore and showed the difference between American comic book graphic novels and Japanese manga, which I thought was pretty telling. Uh, I've talked about this before. It's a market that's totally overtaken Western comics, and for good reason. Let's take a look at some of the female characters that are being produced for American comics. Of course, good old New Warriors here. Uh, this is the female character that they want to push now. Uh, characters like this. Or Captain Marvel. This character like this is Captain Marvel right here. The one to the right. That's Captain Marvel. Uh, I don't remember who this one on the left is, but that's a sidekick character. Not an important character. This is the main character right here. Okay. And this is nothing new. If you if they make if if they try to make a character attractive or if a new character ends up being attractive somehow by an artist, they'll go after it. One of the reasons I have this article highlighted is because it would have been an interesting time to see Batgirl get introduced into that Batman movie. Apparently, that's the rumor that's being pushed right now. Well, actually, let me take that back. It's not a rumor. Zack Snyder confirmed it. Uh, basically, Batgirl would have been a co-star in the Batman, Affleck's scrapped, Ben Affleck's scrapped movie, and they would have teamed up to fight Deathstroke. It would have been an interesting conversation. This would have, of course, propelled Batgirl up into, you know, new places in comics because anytime a character gets pushed in a movie, they usually get a little bit more exposure in the comic book realm. So we would have been going back to this conversation where they were going after Batgirl right here. So this is where they were saying she was sexualized. They were they were making her too, too hot. What did they do? Uh... They showed her turning around, and you saw the outline of her butt. That was it. And it caused all kinds of outrage. You can see right here, like, Bounding in the Comics did a pretty good job capturing it. I did a whole video on this, one of my biggest videos, of them showing this. So this was a problem. Her sitting down, uh, I guess you could see some of her curves while she was sitting down. It was very strange. Uh, but there was a lot of outrage over her backside, basically. And now we're back at it again with this. So now, Comics Media, Screen Rant here, has a problem with this costume. This costume is too hypersexual. This costume. Kind of confused here. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking that this is pretty far from that. Okay. But the problem here is it's, of course, skin tight. And there's boob armor always a problem with the with the armor you have chest armor on a woman and uh you have some cups on there everybody loses their mind which is ridiculous let it go but they uh i i don't know what they want okay and this is one of the reasons why you see you have manga what do you have in there everybody's beautiful okay you have a whole waifu culture husbando culture you know, people, there's there's huge fan groups dedicated to this. But you can't have that over here. When are they going to have a waifu competition over characters like this or this? It's just another reason why you have manga just completely destroying American comics right now. Because they just have abandoned beauty. Ab they've abandoned beauty completely in American comics. It's, it's at the end of the line. And they can still make big, hunky, masculine, strong men. But they've got to talk about their feelings and all this weird stuff. And then women are almost hyper-masculine at this point. And then you've got feminized men. The men are the jokes, right? Go read a current-day Iron Man comic. Uh, he gets lectured about his privilege left and right. And then you go and pick up a female superhero book, and they look like this. You know, people don't want to see that. And it puts designers in a hard place because if they just make something like this, 
uh, they still have comic book media coming after them. And the problem here, the big problem here is that the mainstream comic book outlets are almost ran by these people and they don't want to cross them. You know, it's, it's this weird relationship between the two, but you know, you can't even make an, a costume like this. Uh, they say, well, it's skin tight latex. So what do you think? What do you think that would look like? Of course, it's going to be skin tight. I don't know if the character has heels or not. They're complaining about her heels, which is kind of a big thing with a lot of these female characters. But of course, they're going to go after the heels. I just, I don't get it. But there's not much common sense going around with a lot of these people. Because, I mean, you look at this, you go back to this where they get complained about this, which is... I don't know. It seems pretty wholesome to me. I don't really see the problem here, but there was outrage for days on this for days. I remember when this went down and now this, the most generic looking costume I've ever seen. This is pretty generic. It, it looks like it came out of an Arkham game, to be honest. Here's a, uh, I, I believe that was the Batgirl Arkham look right here. I think I was she even in the Arkham games. I don't remember. I think you could play her in like the, the little beat em up, side missions that were in there, but, uh, kind of an armored look. Uh, their complaint here is that the armored look is only for her chest, not down here. I mean, I don't, I don't know <laughs> what do these people want is make her fat. And then no one complain about it. Right. If she was overweight, there'd be nobody complaining. Cause there'd just be a belly right here. And then, oh, okay. Well now we're showing body diversity in the book. So it's okay. Keep listening to these people. Marvel, in DC, uh, you're running yourselves into the ground for people that don't even buy your shit. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think about all this. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.